Hi everybody, Claire here from Rainbow Acrylics. Um, I'm so excited, I'm going to do one final pupil painting. Um, I'm going to change it though, um, so I'm happy with my swipes, but a couple of viewers um, commented, why don't I try a swipe instead of with my silicone and PVA pouring medium, why don't I try it with Floatrol? So no silicone, um, so I'm going to use Dutch pour paints, Dutch pour consistency, so much thinner, no silicon. Um, I'm going to use my UK Floatrol instead of PVA um, glue, um, pouring media, and just see what happens. Um, I'm going to base it on this painting, so this is one I did um, about a week ago, um, and I love it. It's so fun, it's so bright, but I am going to try and go for classy colours instead of such bold, bright, vibrant, crazy colours. Um, so it's going to be quite different, quite, but quite interesting to see what, to see what happens. Um, let me show you the colours. So this is what I'm going to use. Um, going to use three um, metallic colours. So Pebio Studio Acrylic Silver and Copper and Montmartre Gold. So really beautiful metallic iridescent colours. Um, I'm putting white, Amsterdam white and black and that's um, a Royal and Langnickel black. Um, and then this absolutely gorgeous colour, this is Amsterdam Caput Mortem Violet, um, so that's going to be the main the main theme of the, the painting, the colour. Um, I've also just mixed up a little bit of the, the violet and white, so it's this colour, but just um, a paler version, I've added white, just to um, give it some more contrast really. Um, it's going to be a black base, so I'm quite keen on having the lighter, the lighter colours in there for the contrast. Um, so let's get started. So I've prepared my canvas. Um, I've put the really big push pins in the back of the canvas. Um, I've used my spirit level on all four edges of the canvas just to make sure it's completely flat. It needs to be completely level because these plates are going to be quite runny. They will, they will flow. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do um, is cover my canvas in black. Um, so I've mixed up this paint. I don't know. Actually, it's no. It's not going to be. Able, you're not going to be able to see it because it's black. Let me try and show you this one. Um, I'm just trying to show you the consistency. So they're all mixed with the UK Floatrol, um, which is this. Um, all the paints have been mixed. Two parts of that Floatrol, UK Floatrol, to um, one part paint to one and a half parts water. With the exception of the metallics, I've put two parts of water in those because they're a bit thicker. Um, so let's cover the um, put the base cover down, cover the canvas in the, the black to start with. Right, so that's my canvas nicely covered. Um, I'm going to do, um, as I said, I'm going to do a pupil swipe. So I need the black pupil. I'm going to, I don't want to do it centrally. I want it for composition. I think it'll look better if I, I do it off centre. So I'm just using a plastic um, pint cup. Um, I'm just going to place it down in the corner. I think maybe about there. This is a 50 by 50 centimetre canvas. So it's actually a bit further away from the edge than in my last pupil um, swipe that I showed you. Right, now this is going to be the fun bit. So let's put down some lovely, lovely colours. Um, I'm going to do sort of radial swipes to the edge. What I don't want to do is go right to the edge. What I quite like to keep is my black pupil and then some black um, around the edge. So the colours um, will fade out. I think what might be easier is if I actually just take the lid off this and pour it, because I need more paint than this. Yeah, that's much better. But I need quite a bit of paint. Maybe not water. Wow, what an amazing selection of colours. 
Right, I'm going to take the cup off. Now the colours are going to collapse a little bit now, but that's okay because I can sort the pupil that black out afterwards. I can always paint over it afterwards. Right, to start swiping, um, just cutting up some plastic. So my last swipe, I used kitchen roll, uh, which worked really well. But because these paints are so much thinner and runnier, my concern, if I use kitchen roll, is that it's just going to soak up into the kitchen roll um, instead of swiping properly. Um, other big difference is I'm not going to actually swipe with a particular colour, I'm just going to swipe over these colours so that they all blend. Right, just popping the air bubbles by torching. Right, so I'm just going to swipe, I'm going to put the piece of plastic just on the beginning of the colour and I'm going to do wiggly lines to the edge. So this is another difference with this painting. I'm used to doing quite straight lines. I'm going to do wiggly lines. So by doing this, all these paints should mix up together a little bit more. And then I might get some interesting patterns, interac interesting interactions with the paint. So I'm hoping to get a few cells, but they're not going to be cells like I would get with, normally with a swipe. They're going to be more like flower troll, troll cells. So I am going to the edge, as you can see. But you'll also notice that the colours just fade, so you've got more black at the edge. Right, what I'm going to do now, I've done all of my, my basic swipes. I quite like having this black negative space, but I think there's too much of it. So I'm going to take um, a really small piece of plastic. This is just laminating pouch plastic, um, and I've cut it smaller. And I'm going to just try and fill in a few of these little gaps um, with some just slightly smaller swipes. Just I like the negative space, but I think there's just too much at the moment. So I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to go again. I'm going to start, in fact, I think I'm going to do a little um, arrow, a little pointy. I don't know if you can, maybe you can't see that. Let me put it over there. Can you see that's a little point? I'm going to start with a point, see what happens. Yeah, that's worked really well because you can't see where the um, swipe started from. I didn't want a blunt line that was going to pull out.
So here it is. Um, when I turned the camera off, I kept fiddling and fiddling and fiddling more, just kept swiping and doing a bit more swiping. Um, I have never done a painting where I felt there were too many cells. So I basically just kept swiping through them and it's thinned them out a little bit. Um, you'll notice that the pupil is non-existent at the moment. That doesn't matter. It's go I'm going to, going to paint over it once it's dry. So we'll have a nice crisp, dark um, black pupil there. Um, but just look at the results. I am absolutely blown away by the cells. I didn't realise how many amazing cells you can make without silicon. This has been such an eye-opener to me this morning. Um, I just don't know where the cells kept coming from. I'm absolutely amazed. This is a totally new um, idea, totally new technique to me. Um, swiping with Dutch pour paint. Um, and I'm definitely going to do this again because the results are incredible. The colours, I mean, just look at that. It's just, it's just absolutely incredible. Um, the colours are gorgeous. I'm so, oh, look, you can see the sparkle there. I can't often pick up the sparkle on my phone, but you can see it there. Everything is sparkling. So when it's dry and varnished, oh, look, yes, you can really see the sparkle there. It's just going to look amazing. Um, my only concern is that I hope it dries exactly like this because as time keeps passing, more and more cells are popping up. So my only concern is that when I go, come back to it when it's dry, there will be more black showing and less colour showing. That's my only concern. If it dries like this, I will be absolutely over the moon. Um, just so surprised unexpectedly surprised about the cells. I'm blown away by them. Great, I'll be back when it's dry. And here's the dry painting. Um, it's amazing. I am so chuffed with it. I'm so happy with it. I was not expecting these results. Um, let me show you um, what I'm happy about. So the circle, the pupil um, in the center of the iris to start with, um, you can see it's a really crisp, sharp edge. So I've painted um, over the top um, and I really like that. The black pupil is really, I think, offset by the black at the edges of the painting. Um, the cells are just amazing. I, I still really not quite sure how I've done this, how I've created these cells. Um, it's so interesting because you can see the cells but you can also see where I've pulled through cells. So um, there were just too many cells. So um, I did so many extra swipes. So here, for example, that would have been a cell, but I've obviously pulled through it and it's dragged the cells. Um, this is another example here. You can see where it's just all dragged through. And I really like that. What uh, just an interesting look it's given the painting. Um, yeah, the, the, I think there were just too many cells initially. So all of this black was, was just, it was just too much. Um, but now I think the balance is great. You've got the you've got the cells. You've got the the lovely wavy lines. And if you look closely at it, I think it really gives some depth to it. Um, and up there as well, because I've done so many swipes and so many lines, you get the you get the the feeling of the 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 deeper ones, the more superficial swipes. Um, you really, I think you can really tell. Um, the other thing, the absolutely amazing thing about this painting is just, can you see how iridescent it is? Can you see, it's so difficult to show you on my phone, I'm just moving the canvas to try and show you, um, everything sparkles, um, it, it, everything here is iridescent, apart from the pink, um, everything is iridescent, it just looks gorgeous, I am so, so chuffed um, with it, and then at the edges, if you look closely, you've got more of um, oh, let me put this up again. More of um, a sort of lacing effect down here. Just focus it. Um, yeah, it's more more lacing towards the edge. So I love how delicate the, the edges are. Um, great. So there it is. So happy. Um, so please do let me know what you think. Um, may not be everyone's cup of tea. It's it's different. It's um, interesting. Um, oh, I've I've given this a name. 
Um, it is going to be called Irish Dream Pool because I think it looks very dreamy, dreamy. Um, and a good friend of mine, um, I showed her and she said she said it looks dreamy, um, like like a lovely dream. So Irish Dream Pool. Um, and the technique that I used, um, as I said, it was Dutch pour paints with the swipes. So I'm going to call it um, my Dutch swipe painting. I'm not sure if this has been done before. I've certainly never seen it done before, but I'm sure someone has done something similar before. Um, if they have, let me know. I'd love to. I'd love to know um, if other people have tried this technique. Um, great. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you like this painting, please give it a big thumbs up. Um, and see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.